Hey everybody, it's David Herrera here from the Tips Team, here with another after school tech tip. Today we're going to be talking about resource creation with AI using Twi. Now, before we get to that, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the other resources that we offer within our YouTube channel. You can find lots of videos regarding AI tools, any other third party apps, as well as tutorials on how to use Google Workspace applications, any updates and anything to do with educational technology in your classroom, such as interactive displays. If you're interested in having any of this training at your school in person, please reach out to your tips member via email. You can also find us at tips.epsb.ca where our contact information is there. Also, any other resources that you may want to use. So let's talk about Twi. Now, Twi is a generative AI tool that allows you to create sets of questions, vocab lists, true false, um, and different types of activities based off of text or video. Now, before I get started, I do want to let you know that Twi is a freemium application. That means there's a free version and a paid subscription. The free version only allows you to use the text tools 20 times a month and the video tools 10 times a month. Um, also, there is a limit of five minutes on any video activities that you want to do. If you want to do anything other, other than that, you do have to pay for the subscription. The subscription also includes the ability to download PDFs of the resources you've created, as well as export to Google Forms if you want to make any quizzes. So let me tell you a little bit about how to create activities with Twi. So first off, we're going to take a look at very basic multiple choice questions. So in the home uh, for Twi, you're going to have a bunch of different applications or activities that you can use under tools. You're going to have the exact same ones, but they're just organized on the left side over here for reading, vocab, writing, and so on. So Twi is really more tailored towards language learning than it is for other subjects. But I find that you can use the YouTube video activities for pretty much any subject. So let's do multiple choice. So you're going to see in here that Twi allows you to upload an image if you want to use the image as a prompt to generate questions, or you can put in a text. So I'm going to say that for my classroom, we are learning about the Inca Empire. And so I'm going to put in this text here. So it's a pretty long text. Once I put in the text, <clears throat> you can also just type it out or copy it from any kind of document that you have. You can select the reading level. Now, this is using the common European framework of reference for languages. So it's using A1, A2, B1, B2, and C1, C2 for language, um, as opposed to grade level, which is something you may be used to from tools such as Magic School. So I'm going to keep it at simple A1, A2, and I'm going to click on Do the Magic. And it's going to create questions, multiple choice questions, with the answers over here. Um, and it's going to generate questions five at a time. So it's not generating a huge amount of questions, but maybe if I just want to do like an anticipatory set before introducing this to my students, I can do so. Um, now, if I want to export this, you can actually come down to the bottom after it's created this and go copy. So from here, I have it in my clipboard. I can go to any blank document and just paste. And now I have all of that information on there. I can edit it however I want, or you can just copy paste onto a Google form without having to pay for the subscription. Now, the nice thing about Twi is using the same information that you just created, you can kind of keep going and make more activities with the same topic. So let's say I want to go fill in the gap. So I can click on fill in the gap and it's going to say, okay, uh, do you want to create a fill in the gap with brand new text? Or do you want to go back and use the same text from before? So I'm just going to click right here and it's going to fill in the gap. It's going to copy all of that text. I'm going to go do the magic. Um, and it is asking me to select words that I want to um, put in gaps. So create gap, create gap, create gap. I'm picking words that I want to teach my students. And so you'll see here, all it did was just take out those words, leave in a gap, and then the students can go in and fill those in. So in terms of generative AI, nothing groundbreaking, but it is going to save you lots of time if that's the kind of activity you want to make. Now, let's take a look at videos. So let's say I am teaching students about how to solve equations with variables. So I'm gonna take the URL of a YouTube video and I can go back to Twee 
And I'm going to scroll down to where it says watch and listen. There's a couple of different activities that I can do with YouTube. So I'm going to pick a audio and video question creator. So I click on here and I paste the URL. I can actually select what part of the video I want to use. And I can choose whether I want open questions, ABCD questions, true, false statements. We're going to go ABCD multiple choice. Keep it as simple. And then in terms of language, it can detect it automatically. But you can also choose which language you want it to use. Do the magic and it's going to give me multiple choice questions here that I can use to check in on students learning after we watch the video. So that's pretty much it for Twee. Um, as you can see, there's lots of different activities and different resources you can create. As with any tool that we feature here in After School Tech Tips, please be aware that we neither endorse nor validate the results of this application. We are simply showing how these tools work and perhaps that is something that works for your workflow or your classroom and inspires you to create some resources. So anyways, that is it for me. Uh, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Check out tips.epsb.ca for more information or reach out to your tips member. Have a great day.